And while many of us are paying back student loans, others are just starting their college career. Lemoyne and Syracuse University welcoming new students today. And move-in day was a bit more normal this year. Emily Westcott is a senior here at Lemoyne. Starting the new year with new faces is something she loves. I think getting to just meet everybody and like calling out their names and letting them know that they're like welcome. She's no stranger when it comes to getting new students comfortable. So this year we actually get to help them like pick stuff up and I feel like it, you can tell that the families are really grateful that we actually get to help them physically move in rather than just be there like supporting them verbally. The last couple years they couldn't even touch bins or suitcases because of the pandemic. So getting back into the swing of things is like a breath of fresh air. The ability to see our students smile makes my heart sing with joy. I cannot wait to get to know them in ways that I could not get to know them in the past because of various policies or because they had to wear masks. Unloading vehicles and showing new students the way to their dorm is just the beginning of success. They feel welcome and they feel like they've got people who are there for them even though they don't they don't know any of us but hopefully if they see us when they need help like in the future they'll recognize us and feel comfortable coming up and talking to us. Helping to get students off on the right foot. About 630 new students moved into Lemoyne today, and it was also moving day at Syracuse University too. Several thousand incoming freshmen are arriving on campus this week at SU, and classes begin for both schools on Monday.